time for our Wealth Wednesday. If you're preparing to send your child off to college within the next year, you may find yourself filling out the free application for federal student aid to find out if and how much financial aid he or she is entitled to as a higher education student. Now, whether you have completed the FAFSA, is what they call it before, or are thinking of starting the process for the first time, there are notable changes to the process and timeline of the 2024 application that you need to know. That's right. We are joined by certified financial planner Will Rogers to discuss the changes to the 2024 FAFSA. Good morning, Will, and you. We came with a fresh uh, news for us this morning. Yeah, you know, you know it, it's the, the financial aid application. And, you know, if we need to go to dog school, Baxter can, can apply for, for the, the FIDO aid form as well. There you go. And something you just mentioned, too, um, during commercial is the numbers of the FAFSA application for 2024 is... It, 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 the number of applications that, that normally would be processed by this time is down over 57 percent wow. and it's because it is a new form a lot of the guides and instructions just haven't gone out there and so people are confused and I'm hoping today we can give people some answers and guidance mm -hmm. and so I guess with the guidance what are the main topics that parents need to be familiar with well first off is, is you know what is the FAFSA and then does it make sense for you to complete it with, with you or your child? If you so, what information do you need? What happens after you complete the form? And then the deadlines have changed this year, so knowing the new deadlines is important as well. Okay, so like the first thing you said, so what actually is the FAFSA? So the FAFSA, you know, it's, it's a federal application for, for federal assistance for higher education. And what it does, it collects financial information about a student and their family. And the process is a lot simpler this year because it imports almost all of your financial information from federal tax information. Uh, that's caused some confusion because it's changed the system. But the form can be found at studentaid.gov. Okay, so when you go and you find that form, does it make sense for a student to complete the whole FAFSA process? Uh, absolutely. So as, as you're looking at the FAFSA, it's the gateway for any federal financial aid, but almost all other aid will say, hey, we'll give you some money if you don't get federal. So you gotta apply for federal to be eligible, say for the Georgia Hope Scholarship or anything else. So uh, you need to apply for the federal aid first. Uh, first timers are gonna need to create a federal student aid ID, so they're not using their social security number. And then everyone who'll be contributors will also need to create their own account. So you've got the student, you've got mom, you've got dad, everybody, lottie dottie, right. needs to have an ID. Okay, uh, what information do students need to complete the FAFSA? You really want to gather all of this ahead of time because otherwise it's, it's kind of scattered. Um, as you look at it, there, there's some simple stuff, you know, the student's date of birth, social security number, address and contact info, but then also the parent or spouse's social security information, driver's license or alien registration if you're a non-US citizen, but then a tax return for all involved, uh, plus your financial statements, um, cash, checking account ba uh, balances, net worth information on investments, business properties. Then finally, the name of the college or school you're looking to attend. And if you're still in high school, you can list up to 20 schools that you're considering. Okay, That's so a lot of work. I was gonna say, it's a lot to kind of pile up first mm -hmm. and then you complete it all. Once you take the time and complete it, what happens next? So, so once it's completed, uh, I'm really impressed with how quickly it goes through. It's usually only three to five days after completing, you're gonna receive your student aid report. You do wanna check that form for accuracy. Make sure the income that, that you listed is there, the assets, but it will have a summary of the expected family contribution, including Pell Grant eligibility. Mm -hmm. And Pell Grants, you know, that, that's free money. That, that's not a student loan, That that's just, Here's a chunk of cash for school, enjoy. Um, usually the chunks aren't that big, but <laughs> they're, they're there. Okay, uh, what is the deadline to file for the 24-25 school year? I, I wanna be real careful with this because the deadline has changed and it's a shorter window due to the late release of the application. Most important, check with your individual school. If the school has an earlier deadline than the federal, it is the school's deadline that wins. Now the federal de deadline is at the end of June. June 30th is a federal deadline, but if your school has a deadline of May 1st, your deadline is May 1st. If your school has a deadline of June 2nd, 
your deadline is whatever deadline the school is. It's not going to be any later than June 30th, but you got to check with your school. I don't want folks sitting there, oh, I got until June 30th to get this done. And then it turns out the school they're applying to mm -hmm. had a sooner deadline and they missed it. Right. So you need to do your research first and find that specific school. I, I would almost yeah. start with the beginning or with the end in mind. Um, look to the schools you're considering. And if you're in high school and there is that 20 schools, look at each of them to see what deadline they have and whoever's the soonest is when you need to get it done or quite simply just get it done <laughs> i like that okay as simple as that just do it get what you need and just exactly. do it all right yeah. well we appreciate it thank you for sharing you, uh, advice on that yeah. if you need more information from will we do have his information right there on your screen that's wrogers.info plus we have will's uh number right there we appreciate you as Thank always. You. And, and, and happy sessions petting Baxter if you want to visit. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Baxter said he will help you when you fill out that FAFSA. That's right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Thank you.